Let's look at how we might use the uh, Google Docs collection system to store and share curriculum work. Just to let you know how our structure is created, I am here in the curriculum at MSAD60 uh, Google account. We use this to store information for all across the district. Here you'll see a collection for high school curriculum, and inside that collection you can see all the different departments are represented. And inside of each department you can see each teacher has a space for their curriculum. The sharing setup here is such that Mr. Appleby, for instance, can place information into his own curriculum folder, but nobody else can. Although every teacher in the English department can see and view every other teacher's work. If I would like to place work into uh, my curriculum folder, let's say I were a teacher in the art department, for instance, let me go to a different browser to make this work a little better. I am a freshman, the brand new teacher in the art department, and I would like to place a bit of curriculum work into my collection. I'm going to open collection shared with me because it was shared by curriculum at msad60.org. And you can see the arts folder is here. If I open that up, I can see a freshman's curriculum is just right here. Inside of that folder, you'll see uh, collections for instructional unit number one, which is just a generic title. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Activities, assessments, and resources. Here is the unit that I would like to share. And the way to share is simply to click in the box on the left click on the organized folder that appeared on the top and just select where I'd like to go. I'm in collections shared with me in the arts into my folder and simply apply the changes. Once this unit goes into this collection it will take on the sharing of all uh, a freshman's curriculum documents which means that I can edit it but other teachers can look at it. Thank you for listening.